Okay, uh, next we're on step five here. We're going to add images to the app by uploading them to the assets or pasting a link to the image. Download a picture of a cat and upload it to your assets. Okay, uh, I guess a uh, cat picture. I'm going to find one of those. Um, something crazy if we got it. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so I save it and then I, I'm going to get it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Cat. Crazy cat. Then we go to uh, this thing. Okay. And we're going to go to this and we're going to click on. Um, Upload file. Just watching the GIF here, see how they do it again. So they click, then where do they go? Oh, they're too fast. Darn it. Okay, uh, all right, well, there it is. Choose an image, upload a file. Mine's in my downloads, crazy cat. There he is. Meow. Choose it, make it big, stretch it, stuff. Cool. All right. Yeah, let's get him so he goes all the way across the screen. There we go. All right. Run it, and we're done. Continue. Okay, we're on step six. Icons are an easy way to make your app look professional. Match the picture below. Icons are found in the image chooser. Okay, so image. There's the image chooser. Oh, maybe I can put an image out there. And uh, Can I choose the image? Can I get an icon? There it is. It was some kind of movie icon, right? What was it like a movie? Movie projector, movie camera. Okay. No. Well, this is gonna take two hours. Okay, let me pause the video. Okay, so I found the movie camera. Now <clears throat> I'm gonna find the uh, film image there, it's right next to it. Cool. And uh, put this guy in the middle. Maybe these are a little bit too big. Maybe that's the problem. So. Maybe we can just scrunch it up a little bit. There we go. And this one, scrunch it up. Center it, kind of. Good enough. Run it and done. Okay, next is number seven. Oh man, the cookie clicker, huh? It's important that your elements have meaningful names. When you begin programming your app, you will control each element on the screen using its ID. Change button one to play button. Notice you cannot put any spaces in ID name. Use camel case, right? Camel case where you have a big letter in the middle of a word, like a camel has a big hump in the middle of its back. Button one, where's button one? There it is, button one. I'm going to change it to play button. Play button. Okay. Uh, whoops. No. I wanted to say play. Yeah, it says play. Okay. Uh, change the rest of the element ideas to meaningful names. Um, cookie label. 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 
Clicky click. Or something. Okay, that's all I gotta do. That's all I gotta do. All right, run it. Finished. Continue. Step eight. Use what you've learned to recreate the design below. Each element needs a meaningful ID. Practice log. Okay. Well, here I gotta do everything. Not as easy, but that's okay because I know how to do this stuff. So I'm gonna, I gotta get the uh, screen background. First, I gotta get a blue, light blue screen. No, not an image, just a color. Okay. Something like that. That looks pretty close. Okay, now I need, uh, oh, I got that piano. I wonder where they got that piano from. Uh, maybe it's an image. Okay, let's try it. Image and piano, piano keys. That'll be the name of that image. Choose it. Is it an icon? Do you see piano keys? Could be like a small icon they just made really big. Maybe, maybe. No. Search for piano. Piano. Oh, there's keyboard, but there's no there's no piano keys. Uh, don't see any other musical instruments. Darn it. Where did they get those piano keys? Okay, well, I couldn't find the icon for piano keys, but you know, I just did a Google image search and I got it here. Uh, I'm gonna save it in my downloads. Okay, there it is. Go back, import it. It's not there. Oh, there it is. Good, cool. Yeah, choose it. Why not? Make it big. Not exactly the same as the one they have, so that's disappointing, but. It's close. Um, yeah, there we go. Put that up there. Okay, now we need a uh, text area. Uh, my piano keys down a little bit. Text area called that practice log. Okay, text practice. Log. Uh, darker blue. No, not the text color. Darn it. Text color is lighter blue. And the background color is darker blue. Maybe kind of with some green in it, something like that. Maybe a little greener. Greener. No, too green. I don't know, something. Yeah, there we go. That's close. Uh, okay, the text got to be bigger. Um, it's got to be in the center. It's got to be huge, like uh, 42. 
50. Maybe something like 50. And that is not Arial. That looks like maybe times. Or it's kind of a fancy P. What could that be? Mm. Well, let's try my fonts here. No, it's not that. Not that. Not that. It's not comic. Not Arial. Lucida. No. Courier. Palatino. Yeah, it's a Palatino. It's that fancy P. It gives it away. Okay, um, let's move this guy like that. Uh, you know what? Uh, actually, the text has got to be a little bit smaller uh, because I need to fit those icons on the side. Let's try 36. 40. Okay. And you know what? The text has also got to be a little bit more centered in the like up down position there. Uh, how do we do that? Maybe uh, text alignment center. I got that border width. No, that's not what I want. The text to be. I don't I don't care about the border. I want the text to be inside that thing. Huh. Okay. Well that sucks. Maybe I just do this. Okay. And then I gotta get uh what do I gotta get? I gotta get my icons, so drag some images out. Okay, uh, this guy, music note. And it's an icon of music note. There it is. It's yellow. So it's not black, it's yellow. All right, it's coming together, slowly but surely. Uh, okay, and then this thing, this is not image three, it is headphones. Choose an image, it's another icon, it's that second one. Try to make it yellow. I was smart, I just copy and paste the other yellow color RGB values, but I just don't have time for that. So then next, uh, what do we do next? Let me move this up a little bit. Um, what else we got? We got a big blue box, maybe that's say like a text box or text input. So it could be text input there, no? Uh, all right, we want that to be blue box. Blue. Uh, no, Sam, that's a text color. Darn it, same mistake. Okay. Um, I don't think I need a border, but I do need background color. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, background color. What was my my practice log background color? I'm not headphones. I want practice log. Practice log color was this. So I'll just copy and paste. There it is. Uh, center it approximately. Oh, that's my piano there. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, maybe uh, move it up a little bit. And we want a drop down. We'll call it time. Time button. Time button with height, positive, text color, background color, font, center, border color. How do I make it round? I want it to be round. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't see a way to make that round. What about, uh, let's see, there's button. Okay, I gotta find a way to make these buttons um, have the right shape. And I also got the text input there. So that's what I'm dealing with. Uh, all right. Time button. I have options like 8 a.m. 8.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., etc. Um, it's the index. Oh, huh. cool. Okay, width, height, exposition, y position, text color, Background color, font, family. Okay, well, my text color, first of all, it's got to be that uh, dark blue. Background color has got to be the uh, light blue. How do I make it round? Hold on a second. Oh, it's very sneaky. Uh, okay, so the way that you make it round is you increase the border radius, something like 20. Now you see I got round edges there. Border color is more like gray. Um, well, my fonts, maybe I can make it a little bigger. Yes. Okay, now I gotta get this text input working for me a little better. Uh, it's like it's gonna start there and it's gonna go across. Obviously, if you're making a real app that you really wanna look nice, you're gonna take account of all these numbers, make sure that it really lines up. Okay, my text input. Uh, oh, let's make all these uh, fonts uh, Palatino again, because that's kind of the font that we've been using. Palatino. Instrument. Input. Oops, there it is, yeah, input. Okay, so and we'll put instrument. Put this instrument there. Um, we want the font to be a little bigger. Make it Palatino. Font uh, sixteen. Sure, sixteen. Um, border color again. It's that light blue. Okay, the uh, background color was kind of a dark grayish blue there. Not that dark. And kind of like that. <clears throat> uh, and then we have the uh, add record button. 
So, okay, again, it's Palatino. Well, actually, that one might be Ariel. Maybe that's just regular Ariel. Background color is a uh, very light blue. Do lighter than that. Okay. Um, the text it should be like 18. And let's say the text says add record or add record, I should say. Uh, text color, where did I can put that in? Text color. Is that uh, dark blue? And uh, border. I'm gonna mess with the border. The border is like, it's wider, it's yellow. And it's like 20 again, it's a big round button. Okay, I think that's pretty close. It's important so that we know what we're clicking on, et cetera, et cetera. Submit that and you're done. Okay, good luck.